Hey everyone, this is Will from BeYourNIT.com and today I'm going to take you through a piece of software called DVD Flick and it's open source, free to download and what DVD Flick does is um, takes video files and it's sort of an easy version of how to take them and um, turn them into a working DVD uh, video that you can put in normal DVD players and to demonstrate this we're actually going to use the uh, the downloaded files that you get from our website when you uh, when you take a digital copy and you buy it and so you get these files and um, so we're going to go to DVD Flick's website I've, I've already downloaded and installed it but I'm going to show you how to get to it so you type in DVD Flick in Google and it's the first one and you will hit download and you hit download DVD Flick after it downloads you install it and uh, you run it and it comes up like this. And this is the DVD flick menu. And so these guys here are the video files. I'm going to take those and unzip them. And after they're nice and unzipped, you can take DVD flick. And how this works is the files are going to be listed in order down this window. And this bar over here actually is showing you how much of the disc that you currently have in that you're using. So you, um, if you have a DVD burner, you're going to put in the DVD disc, and you are going to hit Project Settings, and you can see, you know, it's set to DVD. Um, you can leave this wherever you want. I mean, it's just a priority setting. I like to leave it at normal. Um, video and TSC. If you're in uh, different areas, you might have to use PAL. Uh, I know that's for looking. You know, they're, they're different region code and setting region encodings. Um, usually you kind of know about it if you need to change it. Um, after this, I mean, you can make an ISO image of it or you can actually burn the project to disk. And I'm going to select burn the project to disk. Um, usually you want uh, the lowest speed possible, um, but the last one I did was on times 8 and it seemed to work fine. Um, if you have a slower computer, you might need to uh, run it at a slower amount. Uh, so we're going to accept those. And as you see, you can just click these and drag these in here. And if you wait a little bit, it'll show up. You know, it shows your first video and the chunk of the disc that it's taken up. So you take these, drag the extra ones in in the order you want them in. And put a little go. 95%. Probably pretty good. Probably not going to get the next one in there. So um, after that, if you go to menu settings, you can actually pick. Uh, what sort of menu will show up when you put the put the disc in the drive? You know, there's just a, a basic mosaic, and there's a little orange LED and plasma sphere, and these are just the real the real simple ones. We're gonna go with mo uh, mosaic for now. And you hit preview, and this is actually what it's gonna show up like. Uh, you know, you hit play, and there's no tracks in it yet. Um, so you hit accept and use mosaic. Over here we have um, you know add titles. That's just a that's a menu based way to grab the video files. You can edit titles and it'll say you know this is the safety watch first. You can change the aspect ratios and you can make chapters and um, you can just you can do some customization once you're more comfortable with it. But for right now, we're just going to make a basic um, a basic DVD that works in a DVD player. And we got our menu all set up and we are going to go create DVD. And this warning came up because I've already made this project, so I'm, or I'm deleting it. If you've never made this project before, or if you saved it somewhere else, this won't come up. You click yes, and I say I want to burn it. And it's actually going to go through here and do all of the encoding. And so this, this PC is pretty powerful, you know, it's a, it's a new Core i7 machine, so it's, it's chewing through the encoding pretty fast. Um, if you're using, like, a dual core, it's probably going to take a little while. Um, if you're going to use, if you're using a single core, um, you might want to run this overnight. And uh, but you know, when this finishes, it's going to burn it directly to D, uh, to the DVD, and then you can stick the DVD in um, your players, and that will play uh, the video for you. It should actually pop up with that mosaic menu, and then you can select the title you want, or you can just hit that, and then it should skip between videos by hitting next. And back and forth and this will work for um, many video types I mean there might be a couple that it doesn't have um, codecs for but I 
I've used it for a while and I've not really come across too many problems with it. So I thought this was a, uh, a nice tool to show you how to use. And this little button here called Entertain Me actually lets you play uh, Tetris, if I can just remember what the actual... I don't remember the buttons, but, you know, they're... As a, an acknowledgement of the fact that this takes a while, they, they tried to include a little game. After the um, encoding finishes, it'll author the DVD at the subtitles. Then this window will pop up, and it will start to burn... Uh, the DVD to the disc itself. It'll give you the time remaining which will count down pretty quick at first and eventually it'll actually start counting down in seconds like it is uh, almost starting to right here. If you notice up here too, um, <clears throat> there's selections to what you want to do when the disc is done. You know, it can spit it out and close the program, uh, verify uh, the disc to make sure it burned properly, and there's also one for shutdown. Let's see, the disc is coming up on completion. Now, in order to play this disc uh, in your computer, your computer will have to be able to play uh, DVDs. So you either have to have like Windows 7, or if you're on XP or Vista, you'll need a DVD decoder installed, or you'll have to look for something like you know you can go to Google and type in Media Player Classic, which is this guy right here and it has its own DVD coder in included with it um, so you know it's, it's not just going to magically play on your com on your PC if your PC can't already run uh, DVDs it's going to be finalizing the disk After it's done finalizing and close, and in this particular one, it um, automatically came up because it was Windows 7, so it already has the DVD decoder in it. Um, I forgot to give the project a name, but you know, you can either select the title or play and resume. This has been Will for Beer and IT, and. Um, Thanks for watching, and I hope if you have, you know, a video you need to uh, play in your standard DVD player, or even if you're just trying to uh, watch the videos from the digital purchase of our product, then this will help you uh, watch them on a standard DVD player.